be sad about the lease loss, man. Hey, I got you like 40 stocking stuffers. Wow, that's a lot. I know, right? Except Devin Dubnik was standing in front of your stocking, so only like two got in. Hi, everyone. Oh, 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 Three, two to the Minnesota. Ah! Torture! Torture that game! The New Jersey Devils or the Minnesota Wild never trust a team whose original colors are red and green. Because you will not have a Merry Christmas, you will simply have a lack of goals. Kadri for Selkie takes a hit, he's stripped behind the net, passes in front to Yippie Kaye, Jason Zucker, and it's 1 0 Minnesota. Yes, there was a defensive breakdown, would have loved to save on that one. Freddie stumbled. Ah, too bad. A few minutes later, congrats to whoever had Chris Stewart getting a breakaway in their pool. He's a Scarborough native. Scarborough is now part of Toronto, so therefore, of course, he's going to get a goal. He beats Frederick Anderson very similarly to how he was beaten in the Vancouver game in the five hole. It's 2 0. Put a bow on it. This game is over. Of course, Nazem Kadri breaks in, he puts a rebound off Devin Dubnik's pad, and Ben Smith, Ben Jammin, bangs it in, and everyone's tweeting me like, oh yeah, the game's over there, Steve. Eric Stahl comes in, beats Freddy, there's another one I would have loved him to stop, and Eric Stahl says, yes, the game is over, because I'm Eric Stahl, and I beat up the Leafs no matter what team I'm on. A few people tweeted me, Steve, everyone does that to the Leafs. I know! It's okay, though, Bo's like you're to the rescue, Toe Dragon, Matt Dumba, making him look Okay, everyone made that joke. I'm so sorry, Matt. And he scores on Dubnik, 3-2, guess what? Ho and Devin Dubnik says, guess what? Nope. Leafs out shoot the Wild 52-3 and lose. And you can be optimistic with how the performance went and say, well, usually if you outshoot your opponent 73-2, you're gonna win, but they did not. Okay, they had a couple defensive breakdowns, but generally speaking, if you outshoot your opponent 95-1, to you will come away with two points. I don't care if the Leafs had 127 shots and Minnesota had negative six. They still lost. Yeah, well, Devin Dubnik, you know, sometimes you just run into a hot goalie. The Leafs had a bad start, and they had no excuse to have a bad start. They had so many days off, they should have come in fresh as a daisy. With special emphasis on their start, because they've had bad starts recently. And you can say, well, Steve, the Leafs had like three shots in their opening shift. Austin Matthews looked great. Yes, he sure did, but what else is new? I'm frustrated, okay? I'm frustrated with the Leafs being last in the East right now. I would have never predicted that, even watching their first month, which was bad, by the way. I'm frustrated with the moves or the lack thereof. Like, even to shake up the lineup a little bit. You don't even have to take anyone out. Just shake it up a little bit. And I'm frustrated with uh, basically everything I'm hearing. Next person who talks about should the Leafs have drafted Line A over Matthews is going to get a donkey kick in the balls. Didn't I talk about this? Did I not talk about this? Someone please send me the video that it was in. I know I said it on the podcast. I said this was going to happen. Line A, the guy who is supposed to be a goal scorer, by the way, is outscoring Austin Matthews. You don't effing say. Who doesn't watch Austin Matthews game in and game out, even in this game where the rest of his team didn't look all that great and doesn't think he's a monster? Do you know how awful, do you know how agonizing, do you know how unpleasant Austin Matthews, bigger and badder in his 20s, is going to be to deal with in the playoffs? Good luck! And this is the frustrating thing with the Leafs this season. This is the frustrating thing with the Leafs in this game. It's coming. We know it's coming! We don't know when. Take a look at the schedule with me, okay? Just take a look. Okay, they got two days off after having three days off, by the way. They got two days off, then they play Boston on the road. Boston's gonna be looking for vengeance. Next game is Colorado, who has been bad this season, but it's in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Good luck with that. The Sharks are the Sharks. They're still very good. Arizona, God, if you don't win that game. And then you got Pittsburgh on Saturday night. Always unpleasant. It'd be great to get two points out of that. Then you get Anaheim, two days off, followed by guess what? Another back-to-back. -back. Colorado and Arizona. Guess what? Two beatable teams. Guess what? Back-to-back. -back. So you're screwed. Then four days off, and then guess what? Back-to-back -back again. Florida and Tampa. And then going a little bit further down the line, you get Detroit on a Sunday after randomly having two Saturdays off. Then Washington on the road. Fun! New Jersey on the road. Fun! And then the Habs, second half of a back-to-back. -back. Just chalk that up as a loss right away. The schedule for the Leafs and the schedule for every team has pros and cons.
cons. Some teams have more cons than pros. We talked about this on the podcast. The Leafs are the tired team 14 times. Edmonton is the rested team like 19 times. But it's the schedule. It's there. It's made. And it's what you stick to unless there's a blizzard. So you're aware of the cons, which should make you want to take advantage of the pros. This was a pro, and the Leafs got zero points. I already got people tweeting me about, like, tanking and just forgetting about it. No! That's not what this season is about. Last season, we know what last season was. It wasn't the rebuild, it was the D-build. This season, the future is in the lineup every night, and if you cheer against this lineup, you're cheering against the future. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I feel like all this time cheering for the tank, I I'm now paying for my sins. Hey, look, uh, the Leafs won their arbitration case with Jared Cowan, okay? So they get to buy him out, they get a little bit of cap relief this season, they don't get hammered next season, they still have to pay a little bit of a penalty, but not, not a huge one. You don't cheer for this sort of thing, but injuries are accumulating throughout the league. The Rangers have a bunch of guys, the Habs have a bunch of guys up the middle, not just on their NHL team, but on their minor league team, is there a fit for Peter Holland somewhere? All the Leafs want to do is dump this guy so they can have Josh Levo in the lineup. Martin Marinson was ill for this one, but after a few good performances, it sounds like Babcock wants him in the lineup a little bit more. We'll see what happens with Kerry Ramo. There's all this shuffling going on, and I just hope that at some point, it results in some wins. So hey, uh, you know what? Less anger and less sadness. Let's look at some smiles. Here's me talking to a whole bunch of Leafs. I got to go to the Leafs morning skate uh, yesterday. I got to talk to a bunch of the Leafs about a bunch of funny things and I showed them your video questions. So look for those videos coming up sometime soon on the Sportsnet YouTube channel. And also, I got to talk with the Minnesota Wild, including Devin Dubnik, who you would have never known he had to start a game that night. Cool as a cucumber. It was a lot of fun. Also, thank you if you listened to the last podcast with Doug Sifu. That, that went incredibly. And it was even in 30 Thoughts with Elliot and Friedman. I would have never predicted that. We're recording a brand new Panico Pizza Steve Dangle podcast today. We're going to have Sportsnet's Ken Reed on. Jesse is back. Adam's gone, but Jesse is back. And uh, thank you very much for watching. No, I can't end with that. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. That is basically like muscle memory in my face. And I will see you next time when I yell less because the Leafs win. Right?